What Help Makes a Great Show is a Great Track. And now today, we're going to be taking a look at some of them. Here's my top five favorite modern day Monster Jam tracks from 2020 to 2024. Kicking things off is number five. We have the Yellow Tours track from 2020. This kind of brought back old school Chicago style racing. As in the original concept, it looked like it would be just regular Chicago style racing, but there's actually a catch to this. When the track debuted, they actually start in the middle. Kind of reminiscent to older tracks, but it actually has like a teeny little ramp in the middle. And the freestyle track has some great stuff like the step up ramp, a big uh, double ramp on the one side, and the backflip ramp is actually in the middle of the track, making it feel fresh and different. Up next is the paperclip style from 2022 to 2023. This track style is a little bit trickier, but the racing seems to be one of the best highlights as it introduced the berms. Combine that with some pretty good freestyle moments, this track is very entertaining to watch, and I was glad to see it live in 2022. And I'm excited to possibly see that track return at some point, if they do plan on bringing it back to some future locations for Monster Jam. As seen at MetLife 2022, the freestyle and the racing was phenomenal that year. Number 3 we have World Finals 23, and the major reason why I put this on the list is because of the racing competition. The track is the S style racing course that Independent Tours used before, but it is such a phenomenal looking track in racing. A large step up ramp with the berm turns, as well as several little ramps to go over, and then that final big ramp at the end. It's such a great racing track and it's actually a pretty tricky freestyle track. Given the drivers and the athletes a lot of tests as well as a lot of challenges to overcome and what better place to do it and that is at the world finals and i'm glad they went for that decision as it was tricky and racing and also in freestyle at number two we have the stadium west track as well as east rutherford from 2024. Me and my dad like the first start of this track as the drivers start off and immediately they go right into a berm and it looks very, very sick when they're doing that in the racing competition. Combine that with a lot of great turns and then that big last jump. It's a great racing style. It's like a modified St. Louis style, and I think it works much better compared to a usual St. Louis style track. The track is also great for skills and a great watch for freestyle because there is some room for the drivers to really floor it. So I think this track is a very fun watch, and I'm glad I was able to see it live from MetLife earlier this year. And it's a no-brainer that number one is the Superstar Challenge from 2023. This track was a really, really fun track to see on YouTube, and I'm glad people recorded this event because just watching it, I wish I was there. At this track, the drivers were really giving it their all in the racing style that was used at World Finals 21, but then freestyle, it was full of great dirt ramps and actually destruction with the track layout being used for freestyle as well as putting in a couple of crushable obstacles this event had it all hence why i love this event so much and i'm glad i was able to look back in this video because this was definitely a very fun watch now i'll pass it on to you from 2020 to 2024 what is your favorite monster jam track in this current era and what's your favorite track of all time as well let me know down in the comments down below, and don't forget we have the TF Motorsports Discord server in the description down below. And until next time, this is Thomas Frasco from TF Motorsports.